basically art is a language by which you communicate your uh, deep feeling so in my subconscious I believe those old childhood memories about Nile water is here due to this you know if you see most of my works there is sense of this water and there is this sense of people standing around you know uh, enclosing the water the lake or the small water so I believe it's in my head in my spirit is it's, it's in my uh, subconscious à Barrière d'Art, nous avons rencontré Eyayou, un artiste peintre pour qui le Lactana et le Nil Bleu sont une grande source d'inspiration. Au fur et à mesure de nos discussions, nous avons décidé de créer un projet commun qui symboliserait à la fois le Nil Bleu et la coopération entre les pays qu'ils partagent, l'Éthiopie, le Soudan et l'Égypte. Mais avant de commencer cette œuvre, nous nous sommes rencontrés plusieurs fois dans son studio pour échanger avec lui sur sa vision du Nil et sur l'intérêt que pourrait avoir l'art pour créer une narration commune. Narration qui pourrait rassembler les habitants autour de leur rivière. As an artist, I want to narrate or share different story of Nile. I want to emphasize about this uh, cooperation and you know more uh, talk about you know let the people. You know, governments are the representation of uh, the people, but they people by themselves start to create discussion. So I believe these two people are connected divinely with life-giving river. It's a, like a gift, you know, from God to the people of Ethiopia for the Egypt. So to deal with the people which is connected like this, I think it's fair to uh, to have uh, that cooperative mentality because uh, most of the time, you know, people talk about the share of the water, but I really focus on the. There has to be projects which really enrich this area so that the water flow will be sustainable. Art has the power to collect many people to catch the attention of many people so recently uh, we faced a, a challenge there is an endangered plant named the botch which really um, uh, making a tana in a risk so i think there has to be an often where this all countries like including ethiopia egypt sudan you know establish that kind of uh, fund and you know create interaction You know, there has to be art exchange. We need to have exhibition, the moving exhibition, the working exhibition from here to Egypt, from Egypt to here. On part pour l'atelier des Yayou. On va commencer l'œuvre sur laquelle on travaille depuis un mois maintenant. Et Yayou nous décrit l'œuvre qu'il a imaginée. D'abord l'eau, symbole du fleuve qui a relié les hommes depuis des siècles, puis trois femmes, prenant ensemble racines dans la rivière, allégorie des peuples qui partagent le Nil. You think about it before you did it or you just no. I mean, actually, I have an idea that it's about uh, sharing cooperation you know giving and receiving you know you give something and you take some something in a response so the concept is here already but this uh, exchange idea in this really ladies nefertiti this concept came out of my mind just the moment I you know started to develop the sketch I believe that 
you know, if we are divinely connected with nature, we have to work like we have to copy the principle in nature. In nature, there is no border. The air flows, the water flows, and you know, there are bridges which cross the political line. There is a freedom, there is a principle of giving and receiving. So I think that's, that's what the painting narrates. C'est le dernier jour, on est en train de terminer l'œuvre qu'on a fait sur le Nil avec Yayo et Bastien. On se voyait deux fois par semaine pour travailler dessus et on espère pouvoir voyager avec elle et faire partager la pensée des Yayo et le rapport que Yayo a au Nil.